This old whiskey barrel is really heavy and it's ideal for the project I've got in mind today. It's made from solid oak wood, really lovely wood, held together by steel bands. My plan is this, I'm going to sand down the metal bands, treat the wood with linseed oil and then cut it about halfway to give me two beautiful garden planters. I'm using a 40 grit sandpaper to take off the surface rust. The integrity of the steel bands is very good and this is just residual rust that, uh, that comes off quite easily. What I've done is drilled out the centre bung so that I can get the jigsaw blade in when it comes to cutting the barrel. The next step is to mask across the middle of the barrel so that I can then measure where the centre is and draw a line for the place where I'm going to cut. You'll find that cutting the barrel takes time. This is old, thick oak and it doesn't give in very easily. When you come to the end, try and support both sides as best you can. And when you do the final cut, you'll find they just fall apart, leaving two very nice garden planters. The fumes coming out of these half barrels is intense. The initial burst of whiskey odor, it's intoxicating. The next step is just to give the rim a quick sand to take off any sharp edges. If you've ever wondered what the inside of an empty whiskey barrel looks like, well it looks like this. The inside walls have been burnt with flames to give the whiskey that smoky flavour as it matures. These are whiskey infused charcoal pieces that have uh, fallen off the wall. Aside from smelling lovely, I don't know any good purpose for reusing these. This half of the barrel is now ready for final treatment. I'm going to coat the wood and the metal with linseed oil. Let the oil soak in for 20 minutes, half an hour, something like that. Then come back and wipe off any excess. It will be wet because we've applied it liberally. That's fine. Just wipe off any excess. And then we're finished.